So in the previous videos, we learned about the supervised machine learning. We learned about the unsupervised machine learning. Now it's a time to take a look into the third type of machine learning, which is called reinforcement machine learning. Now, again, I, as I always say, always look at the root word. Now, what is the root word or what do you mean by reinforcement, right? Reinforcement means to further strengthen or to give further strength. So you can even think about it that you uh, normally we use it with uh, army, right? So let's say um, we, there is an army deployed in this area, right? To, to further strengthen that, or we normally say we are sending a reinforcement army, right? So you're basically just strengthening your process or in, in terms of machine learning, you can think of it, you are doing a reinforcement or you are strengthening or you are moving towards more accurate models. So the, so the ultimate aim is to achieve maximum amount of accuracy and you are improving on it as well. And if this works on a concept of feedback. So you're constantly getting the feedback and you're improving on your uh, algorithm or your model, right? So the core concept is there is a concept of agent. First of all, remember there is an AI agent within this within reinforcement learning. So whenever you talk about reinforcement learning, there will always be a mention of an AI agent. So the it so this involves actually the agent learning to make decisions by performing the action and receiving the feedback. Right. Again, very important thing. Uh, there is a concept of reward and penalty. Right. Just think about it again. I take an example of a baby, right? Or, or, or a student. You can, you can think about a student, right? Normally, um, the teachers would uh, always give you some reward if you do some good work or they would give you some penalty, right? In some countries, you call it consequence or you could even say uh, some punishment, right? Same way, what, what is the aim? The aim is to improve you, to improve you as an individual, as a student, because the teacher wants you to be a bright student, right? So if you do something good, you get a reward. If you do something bad, you get a penalty. Same way, the concept of reinforcement machine learning it says that it is done where you need to perform the actions and you receive the feedback in the form of reward or penalty. Right. So as I talked about the AI agent, the AI agent interacts with its environment and each time step, the agent receives the environment state. Right. So you are actually, let's say you do some actions, you get the state of the um, say environment and based on that, your reward or penalty is decided, right? So this is quite important. And the key components are agent. So agent is learning from the environment, right? A, a, so you can say the heart and soul of a reinforcement machine learning uh, model is an AI agent because the agent is learning from the environment, right? And environment is where the agent performs the actions. Now here you can take an example of a chess board or a game of chess, right? So your environment is chess, a game of chess or the chess board. This is the place where the agent is performing the actions, right? What are the actions? Now actions are all the moves. If you see, uh, this is one move, right? If I'm, if I'm moving my king uh, from here, am I moving my club from here to here or moving my horse from here to here? So this is a move, right? So the set of all the possible moves that an agent can make is called an action. Now with action, there is a reaction, remember it. And that is in the form of your feedback, but how do you get that? You get it based on the state. You check the state of the environment. As I said, the current situation is returned by the environment or you are returning the current state. So once your current state is returned, then it identifies, oh, was your move, previous move, a good move or a bad move? If it was a good move, you get a reward. It means you are your uh, machine learning algorithm is uh, working well. If you if your move was a bad move, then you get a penalty, right? So that's why it's very important that you get the feedback from environment. Perfect, right? So agent, agent is learning from environment. Environment is nothing but your game of chess or chessboard. Action is the moves that you are making. State is that after every action, there is a reaction. Remember, after every action, there is a reaction. 
just to understand it right and that reaction is in the form of first you get the uh, state of the environment and based on that you can make out whether it would be a reward or a penalty and uh, the learning process is pretty simple. The agent is uh, learning and the strategy of choosing an action given a state to maximize the cumulative reward over time. So the aim is to get maximum rewards, right? If you are achieving maximum amount of rewards, it means you are in the right direction. Now, there are two key words, exploration and exploitation. Right? Always remember exploration means you are trying new things, right? Now in the game of chess, you want to explore it, right? You want to try different things, but you want to exploit as well. Exploit means whatever information you have, you want to make use of that. Or you can say you want to leverage uh, the existing amount of information that you have, right? So you need to have a balance. So it can't be that you're just simply trying new things. If you're trying, then we are talking about a lot of trial and error. If there's a trial and error happening, maybe you don't have an accurate machine learning, um, say algorithm or your model, right? So you need to balance it out. You need to balance your exploration where you're trying new things and you're exploiting new things and you're exploiting as well. You're using the existing known information, which is a key challenge, right? Now applications, now I already spoke about that a lot. Uh, game playing, uh, the, the game of chess or Go is another game. Then there is robotics, then autonomous vehicles. All these are good applications of reinforcement machine learning because you are learning, you are improving. If, if I talk about autonomous vehicles, right, where, where um, uh, there, there is an app uh, or there is a company, Waymo, uh, you, might, you might have seen that. So they are constantly improving. They are trialing this uh, in San Francisco. If that car meets with an accident, that is a penalty, right? They need to see wh what exactly happened. Why did the car meet with an accident? It means they need to improve their algorithm. They need to improve their model further, right? So it is a perfect example of reinforcement. And yes, uh, it does come up with their own challenges. It requires a lot of data. Obviously, uh, we talked about data quality and data quantity. Again, it's very important that the, you should have good amount of data. Um, and you need to ex uh, balance the exploitation and exploration we talked about, right? You need to balance out trying new things. You need to balance out knowing the you, you, uh, using the known information. And you know, you should know how to deal with the environment with a lot of variability or uncertainty, right? This is a game of chess, but they keep uh, talking about autonomous vehicles, right? You're, you're going on a road, right? Your, your car is going on a road. It is, it is, uh, it's kind of a variable kind of environment, right? You, a lot of uncertain things can be happen. Uh, um, uh, somebody can just uh, come running on the road uh, or, or a child can come uh, 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 on the road to, to get a ball uh, from the road. Yeah, you never know, right? Or, or a cyclist just simply falls down uh, or trips over, right? So this is like very uncertain kind of environment, right? But these are the challenges. And this is where data scientists are working towards that is reinforcement. You are strengthening your uh, model uh, and it's all based on the feedback, reward or penalty. With this, we come to the end of the lecture, reinforcement machine learning. Thanks for watching.